you're watching tech infinity so in this video we are going to have a look at the latest lineage os 17.1 5th february build so let's get started so first of all let's have a look at the bugs that this room has so i'll be leaving a link to this article down below i maintain this article and update it as bugs get detected or resolved okay so hotspot only works on open that is no security so if you set a password the hotspot won't work for you and wi-fi may or may not work for you so it's completely random and here are a few solutions that you could try that is flashing the audio modem for your variant or there's a second method and there's a third method as well so you can have a look at those if wi-fi doesn't work for you it may work for you without doing anything because that's how it worked for me without having to do anything and even after using all these three steps the wi-fi may not work for you and then you'll be out of luck and on this particular build the google chrome works fine for me so i'm using nick g apps 19th january build so i'll be leaving a link to that in the article or down in the description below so chrome issues are apparently g apps dependent according to some people so with this nick g apps chrome had no issues for me and it does not work on h932 variant so except this variant it works on all other variants and there's no volte or vo wi-fi for any operator or any variant and there's a avc reset bug so basically when you play or pause the music the avc gets reset and you have to toggle the DAC on off on and off again for it to work again and screencast is it doesn't really work very well and cts is false so basically it breaks netflix google pay and other apps like banking apps which detect root but you can easily solve that by using magisk hide props module and i have linked that here as well or and if you want to me to make a video on that i could do that too so just let me know about that in the comment section below so let's get started so first of all what do you need to do to flash lineage os 17.1 uh, do not use any magisk older than 19.5 i recommend using 20.3 which is the current stable build and you have to be on stock by firmware before flashing this room so basically those are called pi blobs and you don't necessarily need to boot up mm, the stock pi you can basically flash the twrp zip if it is available for your variant but a kdz is recommended uh, so that's that and if you flash this room from audio firmware then you are going to have issues like broken camera or your sim may not get detected and all kinds of issues and if you are on the current firmware and still you are having some let's say data issues uh, so basically whatever apn settings you had on stock room basically just uh, see take screenshots of that and manually set that apn for your operator here so okay i'm going to open it up here and in advanced you can go in and go to access point names and change the apn to whatever is on the default on the stock room for you and manage the settings as well now let's have a look at the features so we already had a look at bugs so here are all the features so you can basically see there are some button options as well uh, so let me just disable fluid navigation gestures that i'm using and okay so i have disabled those and you have the option for customizing what action long pressing the home button double tapping or any sort of that thing and you even have the option for power menu customization and to enable the advanced reboot option here you basically have to go into the developer mode let me quickly show you how it is okay so here are other options wake device answer call using the volume buttons and keyboard cursor control reorient show volume panel on left as you can see here it works now let's go back you have some options for system profiles and a few cases bar customizations like pull down on the right side and network traffic indicators work perfectly well as well system icons can be hidden and you can customize the clock position you can show seconds and that kind of stuff 
okay and you can customize the look of your battery style a bit as you can see there aren't too many customization options here on lineage OS but they are still enough for basic usage they are still a lot more than what you see on pixel experience rooms and you have brightness later adjustment by swiping across it auto brightness toggle and you even have a gesture thing here so you can switch to the gesture navigation here that works well but you need to use the supported launcher for that you have some touch screen gestures here as well and you have prevent ringing jump to camera and as you can see these gestures are really interesting and nice to use so if you want to enable the developer mode you have to go into the settings and into the about phone section and then tap the build number five to seven times and in the developer options you can go and enable the advanced restart and here's the memory usage let me go back <coughs> okay so what else is there and you have the digital well-being and parental controls you have the skin lock fingerprint do note that there is no face unlock apparently google has removed it from android 10 so the custom room creators will probably have to add it and it's not basically available in the aosp as according to nokia twitter account so that's kind of sad and here you can see the sound customizations and do not disturb default ringtone dial pad notification tones charging sound and sound and here's the hi-fi quad dac and as you can see here this is the DAC and it becomes available as soon as you plug in your earphones and you even have a quick tile for that and that's that and as you can see here I'm using dark mode here and it, it looks kind of nice and I'm also using the Swift installer along with this particular room so as you can see here I can disable the dark theme and the dark theme by default is grayish here and it cannot be turned black black without any third party theming on lineage os for now so like i'm using swift installer you'll have to use that if you don't like gray and here you can adjust the font size to your liking and display size as you can see here pretty simple stuff and here's some more interesting stuff uh, okay, so I've enabled always on display for the ambient display and it works perfectly fine You even have the option for pickup and pocket mode, but I use always on as I really like it And do note that the EOD works really well, but if you compare it to stock it is uh, Takes a little bit extra to go off So you might think that it is not turning off or something like that, but if you are on the default kernel and even on most custom kernels i've had no issues with it so basically you turn the phone upside down so it will take i guess 10 seconds or so for the aod to turn off uh someone told me that he got worried that it was not working it wasn't turning off in the pocket and that kind of stuff but when i told him this that it takes a while longer he told me that in 10 seconds or so it worked perfectly fine for him and you have the live display option here reading mode color calibration and all in all the performance is amazing on this particular room and a lot of bugs had been resolved recently which made this room even better and that's pretty much it for that and i tried fm radio, radio on this phone and it worked great no issues there and performance is amazing on android 10 rooms and especially in PUBG or other games you will notice that the performance here is a lot better uh, than the stock room and even the general smoothness is just amazing here so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos if you liked it do let me know in the comment section below and if you have a request for another room do let me know